I don't know what you all give us here. I don't agree with what? That, but. What, 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 what don't you agree with? I'm, I'm just not religious, but I don't discriminate against anybody, like, supporting whatever they want. Well, the question is, do you agree with God? Not really. So, who, so you think God's wrong? It's not that. Um, I was raised Catholic. Yeah. And then uh, my son's mom, we went to like a whole bunch of different churches. And like, it fucked up our religion aspect. Like everybody before Christ died went to hell. No, not, no, not in hell. They're in, they're in heaven if they trust in God. No, I was saying that one church I went to was a Presbyterian church or some shit. Oh, the way you ordered it, it fucked me up. And like, but I'm still Catholic. Like, I do well, believe in God, but. Well, the question is if, if you died today, where would you go? Heaven or hell? That's the question. Wherever he chooses. Well, you gotta you gotta repent and trust in Jesus Christ for salvation, and he'll save you. Not Jesus, but I believe in a higher being. Well, Jesus is that higher being. Jesus I'll, Christ. I'll give you that. The Lord Jesus Christ. He said, "I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me." Wait. That's John. That's the Gospel of John, chapter fourteen, verse six, and in the Book of Acts. God says, for there's no other way, no other name under heaven by which man can be saved. So Jesus is the only way. Not your works, not through Mary, not through the Pope, not through by confessing your sins to a priest. It's through, it's through Jesus Christ alone. It's what the Bible The Bible says in Galatians chapter 2, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. For if righteousness comes through the law, Christ died needlessly. And Romans chapter 3 says that for whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be closed and all the world may become accountable to God. For by the works of the law, no flesh will be justified in the sight, for through the law comes the knowledge of sin. So we're, we're so not one of us is good. That's what Romans three says. For there's none righteous, no not one. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Wait. So you gotta trust in Jesus Christ. He's the only one who is good. And he died. He died on the cross because none of us are good. Do you have a card with your name on it or a number? Um, I give my phone number. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Richard. Uh, Nicholas. I actually like what you're saying, like Richard. I don't. I don't mean to. Um, I'm just, I'm just asking. Are, are you, are you, have you been drinking? Oh yeah. I, I can spill money, bro. Oh no, dude, I've been drinking all fucking day. Can I, can I share with you what the Bible says about that? Can I share that with you? Yeah. Well, the Bible says in First Corinthians chapter six, there's a, there's several groups of people that will not inherit the kingdom of God. One of those is drunkards. Yeah. So I, just, I say that as a loving warning to you, that right now, that, that. You're in that list of people, drunkards, who will not inherit the kingdom of God. And so, I mean, that's, I don't want you to get, I go to hell. No, but it gives you something to work towards. What's that? It gives you something to work towards. It wouldn't give me a goal. Please say one more time, I can't understand you. It gives me something to work towards, a goal. Yeah, but well, people don't think they have goals. It's, Every day it's just like ah, you know. But you have something to work towards. Yeah. Well, so it's not. It's not what. It's not what we work towards. It's Jesus Christ has already accomplished the work at the cross of Calvary. Yeah. It says in Hebrews chapter nine and ten that Jesus Christ sacrificed himself once for all and then sat down at the right hand of God the Father. The Lord Jesus has already done the work. It's we don't have to do the work. We can do the work. Because the Bible says that your righteous deeds are like filthy garments before God. It's, you got to trust in Jesus Christ fully, except that I can't work my way to heaven. I'm a wicked person. The Bible says that we are estranged from the womb, that our righteous deeds are like filthy garments. So it's you got to trust in the one true God, not, not yourself. Realize I am, I'm not good. I'm wicked. And it's only what he's done on the cross of Calvary. It's not, by, it's not by confessing your sins to a priest who's also sinful. It's by humbling yourself and coming to Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. This event is full of proud people. We've seen a lot of proud people going in saying, I'm good. I'm good to go. And so, so don't be among those proud people. 
you know, humble yourself. And even if, even though you're drunk right now, would you say you're drunk? I mean, you've been drinking. No. It's no, I was drinking earlier. I'm a little more certain. I walked like two hours just now. Two hours? Ago. Yeah, dude, it sucks. <laughs> so, like, but I've been drinking, but like, I'm pretty much kind of sober. But not Partially drunk? Yeah. Well, but, but even like, I'm sharing this with you because I believe even drunk people can't understand it. That even when you, you sober up, that you'll that you'll remember some of it. Well, no, that's yeah. why I want to get it done. Like, yeah. actually stop, like, made a conversation about it. And I appreciate like, that. Like I said, like, I wasn't talking, like, talk down Wait. or, you know, be disrespectful. Like, I, I'm open up to everybody's opinion, you know? Well, and that, I like to hear what people say. And, that, that, and, that, and I appreciate that. But the, the thing is that, and I'm going to, I'm going to make one, um, please remind me of your name again. Richard. Richard, okay, Richard. Um, Nicholas. Nicholas. It's uh, right. Acts chapter six, uh, Saint Nicholas. Um, Richard, consider if if ask yourself if I died today, where would I go? Well, you remember what I said about drunkards, right? What the Bible says, First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine: drunkards, drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Yeah. Neither idolaters, nor adulterers, sexually immoral, fornicators, covetous, liars, uh, homosexuals, sexually immoral. And so, most people coming in here to this event are guilty of probably um, a lot a of lot. those. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Oh, yeah. And so, and that's, Wait, and, the and, the, and the Bible says that the cowardly and unbelieving and murderers and liars will have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. Revelation chapter 21, Wait. verse 8. Do you mind if I smoke a cigarette? Uh, I, I prefer you don't, because oh, yeah, well, no, it, well, it probably gave me no. a worse headache than I have yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> No, I appreciate your courtesy Wait, asking. I try to be respectful. There, I appreciate that. Saying, like, it bothered me even before God saved me. I, it bothered me. Um, Richard, do you have a Bible? Wait. Maybe. Do you, I, I was kept in the Bible twice wait. as a tip. Do you, do you need a Bible? I'll take one. What's that? I'll take one. Okay. Okay. Will you read it? Wait. I will. Okay. But I want to get your number of it. So I will follow through and actually talk more about this. Wait. Yeah, it's um, 316. <coughs> Is it 386? Uh, 316. 737. Wait. 5967. Wait. I also have a YouTube channel. Um, you can reach out to me on there too. Alright, one second I'll add that. My YouTube channel is just my name. Yeah. Wait. Richard, do you like movies? I love movies, honestly. If I give you a free movie, will you watch it? I will. I'll give you a, I got a few Christian movies here. I'll give you a selection. Uh, see which which one you like. I said, like, like, I grew up Catholic. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, my son's mom, they didn't really have a church. Here's your, so, your Bible. Uh, they, as long wait. as you read it. I will. I promise you, I will. I promise you, I will. Start, start reading. Start reading it tonight, and I'll text you. Wait. Which? Um, I can give you my name real quick. Oh, you have my first name. Yeah. It's on Nicholas N I C N I C H O L A S, and my last name is Healed H E A L D. So that, that's just my YouTube channel and my name. Yeah. Alright. And which of the see that's which of these would you like? Or I mean you can have um No, I'm not gonna take them all. You can, uh, this one's about atheism, this one's about depression and suicide. Uh, I'm the atheism one. That's what I'm saying, like go. go to that church with them like you just screwed shit up. Because uh, they went to the Presbyterian church, and then like some newfound religion church. There's always something different every Easter. Mm. You know, like every church I took them to was Catholic. And, uh, and just hearing that preacher that one day talking about like, everybody's soul is fucking damned. Oh, sorry, my bad. Everybody's soul is damned that's like before Christ. And it's like, 
Well, you have to look at Abraham because um, Abraham was saved and um, David was saved. David was a man after God's own heart. Even though he committed adultery and murdered um, Uriah, um, he was a man after God's own heart. So, I mean, they're not taking any of that into account, but, but um, no, they, they were saved if they, if they trusted and believed in God before, before the Lord Jesus Christ sacrificed himself on the cross. But, but today it's like, what, what about uh, yourself? Where do you stand before God? And that's the only way to, to go to heaven is trusting and humbling yourself and bowing the knee to Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that every knee will bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Every knee at this concert is going to bow before Jesus Christ one day. Whether if they don't do it in this life, they're going to do it at the judgment seat. They're going to do it in eternity. It'll be too late then if they die in their sins. And don't, don't let that be you, Richard. Because I hope you um, can see that we are out here because we care about people. Because I'm an introvert. I'm, I'm very... I'm not much. I'm not a great people person, but but I care about people. We, we we all care about people, and God puts even introverts out here, you know, out of love for people. Even somewhere where I'm not the most comfortable, because it's I believe people are dying to go to hell, and right now you're you're on the highway to hell, Wait. but you're on the broad road that leads to destruction. Matthew chapter seven. That um. And, but you don't. Have to broad road that leads to destruction and 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 uh, what God says in, in the gospel of John, John chapter 3 that the one who does not believe the son that the wrath of God abides upon him so right now in your sin the wrath of God abides upon you and I say that to you in love and so um, so feel free to to, to, to call me or to, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a traveling. I'm a traveling street preacher. All right. <laughs> but um, I, uh, in fact, I, I, I just came into um, here to Daytona Beach uh, like yesterday, and uh, uh, for this event, I'm not, I'm not usually in Daytona Beach, but um, I've been in Florida for a little bit. Um, and but, I, but if you want to talk on the phone or, or text or reach oh, out to me on my YouTube channel. Things like it makes you second thing things. Out. What's that? I, I said it makes me second thing, or second thing, things now. Tongue twister. Yeah. So that that shirt screwed me up when he said all that. But like everybody before Christ went to hell. You know, like what do you mean? Well, yeah. Do you? Uh, like I said, um, I'm Catholic. Like yeah. this is just a weird <laughs> church for me to even be in. But well, the Catholic Church, they're they're not trusting in Jesus Christ. Most of them. Yeah. I mean, we've already had several Catholics out here that that are lost in their sins, um, dropping F-bombs left and right. And But the thing is for you, consider, if I died tonight, where would I go? I think you already know the answer to that. And, right? So, I mean, does that concern you? Yes, I know. Because, you know, um, you would agree what? that if you died tonight, you'd end up in hell? Oh, yeah, I agree with that. You know what the Bible says about well, hell? My whole focus right now in life is like my kids. You know, as long as they're raised right, doing better than I did, I'm happy. I grew up poor as hell, dude, like, bouncing, place, place, place. And so far, my kids haven't had to deal with that through me, you know? Like, right now, I'm going on, like, five years. First time ever in my life, I'm 36. First time ever in my life, like, longest place I've ever stayed in. Five years, yeah, and that's from childhood growing up. Yeah. And like, I don't want my kids doing all that like I did. I went to like. Do you, do, you, do you want? And I'm, please hear this in love. Do you want your kids know. to be to? I think everything. Do you? Because uh, some of these things can be hard to hear. Oh, yeah. Do you want your kids to grow up to become drunk? No, oh no. So that's no. so you need Jesus Christ. Yeah. You see, that's. Um, I mean, many fathers and mothers they they say, well, I don't want my I want my kids to have it better than I did. That's, that's a natural instinct in, in parents. Wait. So it's not about turning over a new leaf, saying I'll never drink again, I'll never smoke again, I'll never, I'll stop cursing, stop I'll, doing coke. I'll stop doing Wait. coke, I'll stop no, pouring. No, no, I did. Well, that, well praise no, God. Said, the, praise when, God. When I had kids, like, Wait. praise God. Couldn't do that anymore. But it's not like you can turn over a new leaf and still die and go to hell. Yeah. Oh yeah. There are That's people coming like, here. They they've stopped yeah. doing drugs. They stopped. You change one thing, like it doesn't make you a savior. Exactly. That's 
Because if we could, then Christ died needlessly. Again, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. If we could save ourselves through trying to obey God's law, where it's all in vain. And the, the Bible says that he who sows iniquity will reap vanity. So the people here, they're all they're doing is sowing iniquity. They're going they're reaping, they're gonna reap vanity. Nothing, it's worth it's worthless. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity, God says in Ecclesiastes. And and God also says at the end of Ecclesiastes that that the conclusion of the matter, when all has been heard, is fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. But in America and this at this event, this rock festival, there is no fear of God before their eyes. I just checked my email. Honestly, it's like in even in your uh, drunkenness, um, you're you're um you're more open than most people here who are sober. <laughs> so praise God for it's, that. <laughs> it's just who I am it's, naturally though. Like yeah. I, I don't hate anybody on whatever they do, like you know, like everybody's themselves. I don't believe in law. That's the other thing. I believe in human law. Yeah. You know, like, what about what about God's law? That's what I'm saying. Like human law, like don't kill, don't still like treat everybody how you want to be treated. Like you know where you, you, know where you get it? You know where you, you know? get that from? God's law written on your heart. The sixth commandment. God says, "You shall not murder. You, you shall not steal. You shall not commit adultery. You shall have no other gods before me." You shall not covet. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You shall honor your father and mother. So you get all you you know that everybody here knows that because it's written on our heart, the law of God, the Ten Commandments, on our conscience. Conscience means with knowledge. Everybody here, yourself, myself, we have a conscience that means with knowledge. That's what conscience means. You are with knowledge that you that you're a sinner, that we have sinned against the holy God, and that. That, uh, that that's why we need Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, people can accept it or they make up excuses. I'll just Wait. straight up, you know. <laughs> no excuses. There, like, yeah, if there, you there screwed are, up, you screwed up. You know, like. There will be no excuses Wait. on Judgment Day. Yeah, exactly. Only um, you'll, you'll, stand, you'll appear before God and give an account for your life, for your deeds in the Wait. body, whether they are good or whether they are bad. That's what God says in... Um, at least Second Corinthians, Corinthians chapter five, and Wait. so that's you want to be sure that you're right before God before you die, because after that it'll be too late. Mm -hmm. So I mean, re read that Bible, read what God says about Himself. I will. And I, will, I will definitely text you. So. What's your last name, Richard? Weber. Weber. Okay, so, yeah. um, so that's uh, yeah. Feel free to reach out to me. I will. And um, I appreciate you talking yeah, to me, Richard. Keep doing you, man. Like spread it. Have a good night, Richard. Safe in God's will.